Hello everyone, Ladislas Maurice from TheWanderingInvestor.com. So today we'll be discussing investing in real estate in Boquete in northern Panama. So a lot of people have been asking me about Boquete. Why? Because you regularly find the city on many lists in terms of top 10 places to retire in Latin America, top places for digital nomads, etc. So people often inquire about this place. So from a macro point of view, Panama has a lot to offer. It's a stable economy. The government finances are better than in most Latin American countries. The economy is pretty dollarized. They have perpetual income from the canal. So it's a bit like a petrol state in many ways. Without doing much, they always get this free money. So this helps a lot with the development of the country. And it's a safe place, unlike many Latin American destinations. And finally, the tax system is very attractive. It has a territorial tax system, which means that in most cases, you need to structure things properly. You can get away with paying 0% taxes on all income stemming from outside of Panama. So for a lot of non-US people, it makes a lot of sense. You can move here and if you structure things well, you can end up paying 0% taxes. So it's quite amazing. So what this results in is a constant flow of people moving to Panama. More people come than people leave. So its immigration balance is a net positive. So from an investment point of view, as a real estate investor, this is important. And then why Boquete? It's because when people move to Panama, typically they look at uh, Panama City, they look at Bocas del Toro. I'll do a bit of content on there. It's on the Caribbean coast and then here at Boquete. Those are the top three places that people tend to consider when moving here. And so Boquete is this little town in the north of Panama where the weather is very pleasant all year long. It's, it's quite temperate. Um, you never really need a sweater except in the evenings. Generally, it's fairly, there's a dry season, there's a bit of a wet season as well, but it's never too cold, there aren't too many bugs. So a lot of retired people like to come here because of the weather that people like. The city has a lot to offer, so this is why people come here. So again, when you invest in a city, you wanna ask yourself, what are the catalysts? Why do people come here? Is it sustainable? Are more people gonna to want to come here? Well, it's a great place from a lifestyle point of view. So not only the weather, but also there, it's a farming area here in the mountains. So a lot of fresh fruit, vegetables. There is a lot of cattle. So the meat is really good and affordable. The Pacific Ocean is an hour and a half away. So if you wanna go swimming, if you want to go fishing, etc. So also great seafood and the healthcare is relatively decent as well. And there's a number of international schools. So this city and this place in Panama is known for being one of the top places in the world for, in terms of quality coffee. There are tons of restaurants here in Boquete. So from a lifestyle point of view, it has a lot to offer. And that's why there's constantly people coming in, which is very, very attractive. And it's not just about Boquete itself, but also the main city an hour away from here, David, is seeing a lot of Chinese investment. The Chinese are investing a lot of money in Panama, and we're seeing all this infrastructure development in the area. So there's, there are a few good long-term trends for a place like Boquete. Now, purely from a real estate point of view, so you know the thesis for Panama is clear, the thesis for Boquete is clear as well, but then from a real estate investment point of view, is this actually the sort of place where you want to invest your money? So what's important to know is that it's a very illiquid market. So it's very important to know where you're gonna invest here in the area. Essentially, if I'm gonna be a bit crude here, there's Boquete, the city, and then the rest is very illiquid. So as soon as you venture out of Boquete, apart from the beach areas an hour and a half away where there's some level of liquidity and capital preservation and potentially Volcan, which is a little city, which is probably gonna be the, the next Boquete. It's about 30% cheaper and there's, there's definitely upside there. Apart from those areas, if you kind of venture out into the rural areas, you're gonna suffer from an extreme lack of liquidity and chances are you might not get the money that you put into it when you try to sell later on, taking into account transaction costs. So personally, from, a, from an investment point of view, I would only touch Boquete Core, Volcan, and the beach areas. 
But then again, they're very illiquid markets. So it's easy to buy, it's hard to sell. So the advantage of always having these flows of people coming in and out is that there are always people making emotional decisions. So if I were to buy here in Boquete, I would come here for a few months, take my time and wait for someone desperate who wants to leave to then try to make a lowball offer and get in and get something cheap. This is pretty much the only way I would play this market. Now, is this the sort of market where I would want to buy something to hold long term and try to manage from overseas? Again, if you buy in these core areas, you'll be fine in terms of property management. There's a lot of property management talent, a lot of Americans and Canadians that do property management. So this is always comforting. But as soon again, as you venture into the outer areas, property management will be a lot more complicated. So I would, again, if I were to invest and not live here, I would only invest in these core areas. Do I think it's the best investment to make when you are far away? Because of the low liquidity nature of this market, I'm not entirely sure that's what I would want to get involved in. The typical net yields after all deductions, etc., you might get four, five percent. You can get more for sure if you wait for the kill, uh, but then you need to come here for quite a while and actually, you know, wait and talk to a lot of people and, and wait for the opportunity. So the opportunity cost in terms of just spending all your time here and not being able to do other things is relatively high. So the way I look at Boquete and this area is rather if you want to plan B, right? Or if you want to live here full time. So if you want to move to Panama, to reduce your taxes massively. You don't want to say, stay in a large city like Panama City, but you want to stay in a beautiful little town, approximately 30,000 people, a lot of things to do, then this is a very good option. You, all you need to do is to put 200,000, if you're from one of the countries that's listed as friendly nations, according to the Panamanian government, $200,000 in property and or a term deposit, so potentially a mix of the two, and you get your residency rights here in Panama, which is very attractive. So this makes sense. If you're doing this and you want this visa, you just come here, you buy property, and then essentially get your ROI from all the taxes that you're not paying back home in Canada or in Europe or wherever, or even in America, because you can use some allowances to reduce your overall tax rate. So from that point of view, it makes sense. It also makes sense if you want a plan B, if you want some property overseas in a safe jurisdiction that you might wanna use later on or that you want to use part-time, this is not a bad market to operate in. You know, you could spend part of the year in it and then the rest of the year you could rent it out. There are potentially Airbnb restrictions that are gonna be enacted, but all it would really mean is additional paperwork and some additional costs, taxes, but it's, it's doable. So my conclusion on this market is that it's a relatively stable economy in a crazy world. It offers good asset diversification. Boquete itself has a lot of long-term trends that are going for it in terms of its positioning and all the, the future flow of retirees that we're gonna see coming down from North America, from Europe, and also generally digital nomads that just wanna reduce their taxes. So the immigration flows are gonna be coming. But because of the illiquid nature of the market, I'd be very careful when I buy here. I would really take my time before pulling the trigger. Personally, I see it more as asset diversification, plan B residency, and for those who move here, saving a lot on their own personal income tax situation. If you wanna to speak to a good realtor, I met a whole bunch of realtors here. A lot of them talk crap. One of them was really good. I liked him a lot. He gave me the, the true information as opposed to most of them that were showing me places in rural areas, telling me that I could rent and make good money. He was telling me, no, like if you buy this, no one's gonna to wanna to rent it. So the guy was honest. So if you're interested in speaking to him, there is a link below and there is also his email. Make sure to download my free ebook, 12 Mistakes to Avoid When Investing in International Real Estate which you can find on my website, link below, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at The Wandering Investor. I look forward to hearing from you.